You look around and you see the suffering and you say, fine, you know, I can understand this, but I can't understand that one. I get this one. I can reason through this one. I can't reason through that one. Like I can get why maybe he went through that hardship. I don't understand why he went through that hardship. Or I can get why he went through that hardship, but why the extents of that hardship? Could have figured it out. Why do they have to keep on going through this? What's the point of these children suffering? You go back to the fundamental principle. Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. When the angels asked Allah, أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ Ya Allah, we've already seen what happens when, when fallible beings are given the earth. Are you going to go ahead and create a human race now? Where they will spread corruption and they will kill one another and spill blood? SubhanAllah, the angels didn't even see Adam yet. They knew it. They knew that fallible creatures will wreak destruction and havoc when they have power. They knew it. They didn't wait for a quote that absolute power absolutely corrupts. They knew it. Ya Allah, are you really going to do this? Are you going to create them? Are you going to give them this power? And what was Allah's answer? I know what you don't know. Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. I know what you don't know. Allah could walk them through perhaps one or two people and show them how each and every single thing that happened to them, that there was a wisdom for it. But at the end of the day, sometimes things are not going to make sense even to the malaika, even to the angels. When you establish that foundation, inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun, who judges to what extent someone should suffer? Who knows the, 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 the present and future implications of suffering in an individual or community or country's lives? Who knows? Who can actually dissect all of that? Who can trace all of that and experiment on each person and derive the positives and the implications and how it's affected this and how it's affected that, that person and that situation and what it will do in the future? Who knows all of that? Nobody. So if you can come to the terms that I can't understand when something small happens to me, relatively small that I interpret as a hardship happens to me. I can't understand that, but I trust Allah's wisdom. Then why can't I trust Allah's wisdom when something major happens that I don't understand? What's, what are the variables? What are the parameters that you're going to, to, to accept? Was it not an issue in Palestine? It wasn't an issue in the Central African Republic, the Rwandan genocide, Bosnia, none of that was an issue, the Holocaust, that was, but this one's an issue? You have to establish a foundation. And that foundation is, Allah knows what I don't know. And I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that. I'm assured with that.